Federal regulators announced on Friday they had reached a settlement with Frontier Airlines and multiple female employees. But then that announcement was retracted because the settlement hadn't exactly been reached just yet. Joining us is our legal expert, Whitney Trailer, And uh, so this comes out as a press release. Yeah from the EEOC announcing the settlement, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoops, they're taking it back. Right, so I don't, that is rare. Somebody made a mistake, clearly. And so the EEOC, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, they were one of the parties to the lawsuit, so they can actually represent parties. So they were a plaintiff. Uh -huh. And so what, presumably, what I'm very comfortable uh, coming to the conclusion was that they were in settlement discussions and they were presumably getting close in terms because these are big lawsuits and so there's a lot of moving parts and settlement and so they're nuanced and layered and so they probably got close and somebody, they probably even drafted the settlement agreements waiting, trying to get the settlement and then somebody issued the press release and, and this happens all the time. 11th hour settlements fall apart. Mm -hmm. I mean, and people start counting money and thinking they're, they're going to be on vacation the next day, and then the settlement falls apart, and that's presumably what happened. Yeah, well, that's why you don't when you count your chickens before they hatch. Great like, point. You, come on, guys. Yes. Um, okay, maybe a simple question, but I mm -hmm. think it, it plays here. Can you describe the difference between a settlement and a judgment? Yes, that is a straightforward question, but it's really important. So a settlement is when, uh, if, if, if I'm suing you, if we're in, in a lawsuit, and uh, settlement is when we come together and we negotiate, we figure out terms, and we agree to settle. And most times settlement is where both parties give up something, they think they give up more than they should. The beauty about settlement, and this is where the EEOC was involved in the beauty of mediation, is you get to participate. If you want a letter of apology, you can get that. If you, right, so a judgment is when you actually go to trial, and it's either gonna be a bench trial to the judge or a jury trial, and they're gonna render a verdict. So at judgment, somebody wins and loses. So I tell my clients all the time, hey, you know, with settlement, you may give up something, but you are assured you know what happens. When you go to trial, you're really rolling the dice. Yeah, that's a gamble. Yeah. So, and at issue, it's really complicated here, but we're talking about pilots that are breastfeeding, yeah. lactating, giving them all the things that they have asked for mm -hmm. to continue to work and being a mom. Right. And, and that's part of it. But why, why is the EEOC involved in this then? Right. So the EEOC is an administrative agency. So you have to many times before you file as an employee, before you can file certain types of discrimination claims, you have to first file a charge of discrimination with the EEOC. That's the administrative prerequisite. And then once they issue their right to sue notice, then you can actually file your lawsuit. But many times the EEOC will actually become a party and they'll say they're not actually a party. They're just, well, they are technically a party and they say, we're actually representing the plaintiff as well. They don't take any of the proceeds, but they'll come in and they can pay the costs of experts and things like that. Oh, so it's amazing. like an extra set of attorneys, essentially. Mm -hmm. So we know there's no settlement, yes. right? There's no settlement. So then what happens? Is this lawsuit right. just dead in the water? Yeah. What happens next? Well, <laughs> and settlements are so difficult to, um, to reach. They're nuanced. There's moving parts. Everybody's, it, it's just a delicate situation. So the fact that they presumably got this close and then it fell apart is, is relevant. So now the case will go forward. I don't know where they were in terms of the litigation. So it'll, there'll be motions and they'll keep proceeding towards trial, but these cases, they'll always sort of be these sort of ongoing settlement discussions, and so they may come back from this, but it may be too, uh, it was too tenuous, and then the fact that the, the thing went out, now everybody's dug in even, even more, so wow. we'll have to see. Yeah, but the, I mean, it, it does behoove everyone to try and resolve it because yeah. you do have control, and then you get to say, you get to demonstrate a gesture of Hey, we're we're this trying to This is what to, we did. Yeah, exactly. Mhm. Mm Whitney, thank you. Sure.